Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Just give me a minute. I'm going to change my... Hi, Mirna. Hi, Jefferson. Hi, Nelson. Hi, Cordelia. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi, good night. I'm fine. Good evening. So better, right? Okay. Your baby. Cordelia, your baby. Acá está conmigo. Oh. Es mi bebé. Oh, Curly. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Esa es chiquita. How old is she? Five, four, three. Two, one, uh, three, three. Sí. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. What is her name? Um, her name is Jaili. Hi, Jaili. Okay, nice. Who else has kids? ¿Quién más tiene hijos? Who else has kids? Mirna, Jefferson, Nelson. And you. <laughs> Three. Ah, okay. No, <laughs> Three. Mirna. Yes. <gasps> nice. <laughs> okay. Jefferson, kids or babies? Nelson? Juan? No, you know. <laughs> Juan? Ahora voy a Okay. Um, good evening. Buenas noches. Did you do your homework? Is it on a tarea? Ta 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 ta. Okay. It's okay. Don't worry. If you didn't do it, that's fine. We are going to do it together right now. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. That way you can see it. Let me see. Share screen. Let me go here. Let's go. Here it is. Okay. We are going to do it together, okay? And I want you to participate. We're going to do it together. Wait, no, that's not this one. Hold on. It's not this one. This is another one for another class. Let's see. It's loading. Are you able to see my screen? Yes? Can you see my screen? No. No? No. Okay, let me share. Let's see. Just give me a minute. Do, 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 do. My computer is thinking. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. It's this one. I sent you a link, right? Do you remember? This one. Okay, let's begin. Your name, remember, if we have, we have two names, right? First name and middle name. Okay, in my case, my name is Beatriz. That's my first name, but my second name is Maria. Okay, now, this is a new word para nosotros, surname. What do you think is a surname? What is a surname? Uh, last name, no. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Surname meaning, okay? A surname is, dun, dun, according to Google, okay, 
it's an added name derived from occupation or other circumstances, nicknames, the name born in common by other members of family, etc. So the surname uh -huh, of a person is, okay, is the family or last name. Okay, acá lo dice. Es el nombre de familia o el apellido. So you can say, my family name, ya sabemos que se refiere a familia. Por ejemplo, fuera de sus casas, tienen como, muchos tienen unas plaquitas, dice familia Velázquez. So that is your surname, your family name or your family's last name, ok? Either or. Entonces hay tres maneras de decirlo, pero nos enseñan solo last name. But you can say, oh, my surname is Salaverría, my family name is Salaverría, and my last name is Salaverría. So puedo decirlo de tres maneras, ok? I am going to write it down on the chat. That way you have it with you para que ustedes tomen nota. My last name, my surname is, or my family name is, okay? Okay. Sí. Where is it? Okay, and going back to the, okay, so this is, so my surname is Salaverria. So you're going to write Nerio, Chavez, Gonzalez. That's your surname, okay? Then the date. What date is today? ¿Qué fecha tenemos el día de hoy? Date. Mm -hmm. What date is today? 29. Okay, very good. 29. 29. So first it would go the day or the month? Uh, day. Okay. The so. Uh, January. Okay, so it would be Wednesday, January. Wednesday, Very good. January. 29th. 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 Solo sacamos la lengua al final del 9. 29th. Okay. 29th. Ajá, como un sonito 29th. de Z. 29th, porque son números ordinales. Después los vamos a ver más adelante. Pero 29th, 2020, or you could say 2020. Wednesday. Uh -huh. Wednesday, let's say Wednesday. 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 Okay. Acá les pongo la pronunciación a la par del nombre. Can you see, pueden ver mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Yeah. Wednesday. Sí. Wednesday. 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 Very good. La W se vuelve como una U. When. When. Wednesday. What. Nunca va a ser una G. Ok, no es what, gue, sino que es u, uh, suavecito. Wednesday. Very good. January. January. ¿Mm? La J es Y en español. January. 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 29th, 2020. Very good. Ok, Wednesday. Ok, let's do it together. Verb B. Who wants, vamos en orden y me van ayudando, ok? Help me, help me. Cada uno lo va a ir haciendo y me van dando los... Okay, one by one, uno por uno. Okay, for example, number one is is. But I want you is. to read. I want you to um. I want you to read it, the whole sentence. Okay, read the entire sentence. Mm -hmm. Leemos la oración. Let's read the sentence. Okay. Mark okay. is a student. Okay, Mark. Yeah. Mark is a student. Yeah. Mark is a. Mark is a. Mark is a student. Mark is a student. Isa, como decir Isabel, de Isabel, Isa. A veces en inglés unimos, se llama liaisons, para, para no decirlo una palabra por palabra, unim, unimos soniditos. Entonces, Mark is a student. Ok. Mark is a student. Ok. Ok, next one. Number two. Susan is an American student. American student. Okay, it's an American student. Very good. It's it's an, it's an, it's an, uh -huh. it's an American student. Number three. It's an American student. My beat is correct to say beat or another. It's regular to say, in this case, it's regular to say, it's normal to say eh, pet. Oh, okay. Because pet. it's only pet. one, one uh, syllable word. Okay? Oh, okay, okay. It's different when it's, for example, to is, peat. But if it's only one, we una de una syllaba, you would say okay. pet. Mm -hmm. pet. My, okay. my pet dog. 
My pet dog is dark is brown. brown. Excellent. Very brown. good. Is dark brown. Okay, great. Number My four. Friend. My friend. Um, My friend and I am tall. I am tall and think. My friend and I. My friend and I. Young. Uh, 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 I. My friend is uno. And yeah. I? So yo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, 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 I am. Young. Uh, very good. Excellent. There you go. Porque yeah. está hablando de my friend esa parte, pero me está llevando de encuentro a mí. Entonces ahí so se está refiriendo a mí. And mm -hmm. I am tall and yeah. thin. Okay. Okay. Very good. And I am. Mm -hmm. The monkey are those? on those the monkeys. 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 On the trees. Uh, those the monkeys. Muchos. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. All right. Excellent. Those monkeys are on the trees. Okay. The bike. The bike is pink. The bike, the bike is pink. Okay, the BMX. <laughs> Do you remember? Ah, the Corsario, right? They were called Corsarios, BMX, and so on. Okay, number seven. My parents My are parents Brazilian. Brazilian. My parents. Ahí es como de pera. Pera, como de pera. Parents. La A es e, parents. My parents. Like this, parents. Parents. My parents. Mm -hmm. My parents, parents. My parents. Are. Are. Excellent. Are. Because it's plural, right? My parents are Brazilian. Very good. Number nine. I'm sorry, number eight. My aunt is a My aunt is a Is my my aunt. My aunt. Is. Aunt, okay, O N T. Aunt, my aunt. My aunt. My aunt is. Aunt is a doctor. Tratemos de correr las palabritas. Isa, okay. Isa, Isa. Whenever we have short ones. My aunt is a. My aunt is a doctor. Isa, like saying Isa. When I say Isa. My 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 aunt Isa. Isa doctor. Very good. Isa doctor. Uh huh. I. I am. A Portuguese teacher. Portuguese. 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 Very good. Teacher. Portuguese teacher. Excellent. Portuguese teacher. <laughs> Number you 10. Are, you are, you are my, my favorite. favorite. Actress. You are my favorite, favorite, oh, my favorite actress. Favorite. Actress. 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 Very good. Uh huh. Wait, just give me. Just a yeah. Dogs are clever. Dogs are cl clever. Uh, clever. 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 Okay. What is clever? Oh, clever. Clever. Super smart. Very smart. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just give me one minute. I think one student is having a problem. Just give me one minute. Let me check. He doesn't have audio. <clears throat> Da, da, da. Let me check. Okay, well, I'm going to write to him on the group. Okay, Carl. Now, this is com this is part C. It says complete with am, is, and are. But this next exercise, you have to write the sentence in the negative. So it's the verb be, but in negative, okay? So it's the negative of the verb be. Did you do exercise with this? Yeah. So for example, Carl is in. It's not. It's not. Very good. It's not o la contracción que sería isn't. Very good. Isn't. Isn't. Right? It's Wait. Not. Isn't, right? It's not or isn't my friend. Merge. Is not. 
It's not. No. March, March, like this March, March from the Simpsons, is not right? Fat. March. Mm -hmm. March. What is fat? Sí. <laughs> it's not. Gord. Fat? Yes, very good. Fat, gourd. Pero le voy a comentar algo en paréntesis, un paréntesis. Fat no es una buena palabra para decirle a alguien, ¿ok? Es como un insulto. Okay. Es como un insulto. Entonces, en vez de decirle fat a alguien, le podríamos decir, it's not heavy. De pesado, heavy, se pesado. puede decir. Ajá, it's not heavy. And shabby. What is the shabby, meaning shabby? Igual, como gordito o fluffy. Oh, okay. Heavy, chubby, or fluffy. Pero fat es un poquito pesado. So try pesado. not to use it. Mm -hmm. Maybe heavy, chubby, or fluffy. Okay? Okay. Next one. My ball. No, but it's not. It's not well, pink. It's... <clears throat> or it's isn't not. pink. Mm -hmm. Very good. My grandparents. They're not. Are. Uh, are not. Are. ¿Cuál es la contracción are para not. are not? Aren't. Excellent. Aren't. 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 Como de oro. Or, or aren't. aren't. Orange. It's more como oh, orange. 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 Very old. Very good. Orange. These pencils aren't new. Orange. Aren't new. Orange. Excellent. Orange. I, I am um, not. I am not. I'm I am not, not a here. king. Very good. I'm not a king. Mm -hmm. Cat. Ah. I am not a king, I'm a queen. <laughs> you would say. Are not, <laughs> or I am not a queen, not, I'm a king. <laughs> Cats? Are, are, are not. Are not. Are not. Wild animals. Very good. Are, you? You are. are, are a man. You. Yes. You are. And. And ahorita que estamos hablando de esto, eh, ya le voy, a, le voy a enseñar a detalle. Vamos a ver ahora los titles. Mr., Mrs., Miss y Miss. Ok. And I'm going to explain the difference of between a man in the United States or in another country and a boy. Ok. When do you call somebody a man? And when do you call that person a boy or. Ok. Desde qué edad lo empezamos a llamar a man in certain countries. We're going to okay. see it later, okay? Next one. Beers are orange. Bears. Yeah. Vale, como ahí tenemos dos vocales, we extend the sound. Bears. 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 Very good. Bears. Bears. Are are not orange. Are not orange. 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 Very good. My books my are, my, are, are not, not real. Not, red. Not real. Red. 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 Porque tiene, es una sílaba, igual que pet. Cuando son de una sílaba, okay, pet, red. Tal pet, cual. Pet. Red. Yes. My sister and I are not I I are not at home. I'm not. Excellent. Very good. Very good. I'm going to erase this para que no se nota que no nos va a dar nota. It's not or isn't, I think. Um, I'm going to correct this just because... <clears throat> Okay, let's go. Let's go check here. Okay, so next part and the last part is we're going to answer these questions. De la misma manera que nos preguntan en inglés, contestamos. How old is March? Mi, mi respuesta va a ser March is 12 years old. Let's see, March is aquí. March uh -huh. is 12. 12. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent. March is 12 years old. Very good. How old are Kate and March? 
Kate and Mark. Y hay dos maneras de contestar. You could say Kate and Mark or, como son dos. They are. They are. Yes, or. Twelve. years Old. Twelve. ¿Cómo se dice twelve? Twelve. 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 Very good. So they are twelve. Twelve, 12 years 12. old. They are twelve they years old. Twelve years old. Mm -hmm. Very good. How old is Lynn? It's Lynn. 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 Years old. Very good. How old are Tim and Sam? Tim and Sam. No, they, 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 they are. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. 19, 19 years old. Very good. 19 years old. They are. They are. Years old. They are. Oh, very good. She is. Vamos a cambiar acá. A ver cómo nos da. A ver cuánto nos sacamos. Esperemos que we have a big old 10. An excellent. Great. Let's see. Five out of 10. Ah, okay. I think I know why. Why do you think we have five out of 10? ¿Por qué cree que no sacamos eso? Porque quedó una sin contestar. <risa> probablemente. No, probablemente acá teníamos que haber ocupado contracciones y acá probablemente lo tuvimos que haber hecho así, sin contracciones. ¿Ok? Pero están, pero las respuestas, pero no se preocupe. The answers, porque no nos especifiquen las instrucciones. So don't worry, the instructions are not, solo dice complete. Or write the sentence, in, nunca dice use a contraction. Por eso tenemos que tener mucho cuidado cuando hagamos evaluaciones o en los ejercicios. Fíjense si le sale la palabra contraction. Or, si no le sale contractions, lo hace de la manera como el number six here. I am not a king. No, I am not a king, sino que de la manera larga, ¿ok? Si la, pero si le aparece en la instrucción del ejercicio, contraction, then you have to contract. Usar apostrophe y la S, ¿ok? That is to contract. Usar dos palabras y hacer las una, ¿ok? Pero en este caso, we don't... But don't worry, the answers are correct, ¿ok? Así que, don't, don't pay attention to the five out of ten. Good job, guys. Great job. Ok. <laughs> Okay. okay. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> You're like, oh, no, I have a five. No, don't worry. <laughs> it's just because the instructions, pero ven que importante es que las instrucciones estén claras en cualquier ejercicio. This is una worksheet en línea, claro. Es un interactive worksheet. Y la idea era hacer el ejercicio con B. Así que good job, okay? Good job, guys. Okay. podemos hacer de nuevo el ejercicio nosotros? Claro, ustedes lo pueden hacer y ahí me mandan el screenshot del 10, 10 oh, out of 10, the 10, ok? Ok, now, we're going to do the following. We are going to go back and review a little bit about yesterday y después vamos a hacer un poquito de knowledge check. But I want to share something about the titles that, it, that I was talking to you about. Just give me a minute while I get the... Let's review... Repasemos review yesterday, okay? So we're going to review yesterday. We're going to review from yesterday. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? ¿Ya terminaron? ¿Casi terminan? Ya casi. Okay, good. Uh, Quiero que todos estemos en target, todos los... 30, 25 que somos. Eh, que estemos en Target, nosotros, más que los demás grupos. Lo Necesito que me agreguen al grupo porque lamentablemente no estoy en el grupo. Ah, ok. Si quiere, mándeme um, 
le voy a dar mi número ahorita para el que para el que no lo tenga, para que yo la ponga en contacto con Jonathan, o le doy el número directo de Jonathan en ese momento, para que usted se ponga en contacto con él, porque él es uno de los administradores. <coughs> ya le doy el número de él, permítame. Um, Jonathan. Es que yo creo que sí lo tengo, el número de Jonathan es el, quiero ver, 72, 63, 19, 28. Pero en inglés, en inglés. Otro... Ajá, let's practice. What is his phone number? 726319928. Ajá. 7263-1928, right? 7263-1928. Because he's the administrator. Como él es el administrador, él nos puede apoyar en ese tipo de, de cualquier tema que tenga que ver con plataforma, con entonces nos puede apoyar con agregándonos al grupo de WhatsApp. Por ser el coordinador, él es el que se encarga de, de hacerlo. Y si no, cualquier cosa, pues me dice a mí y yo lo contacto, ¿ok? Ok, so let's go back and review yesterday's class. Remember that yesterday we were talking about consonants and vowels, remember? A little bit. Oh. Uh -huh. And we were practicing porque si nos va a costar que confundamos la A y la E y la I, ok? For example, la A era? Uh, a. a. Ok, a. la E era? E. 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 Y la I e era? I. 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 Very good. Ok. Very good. So, we had consonants que eran las consonantes y vowels. Remember vowels. 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 Eran las vowels. 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 vowels, vocales y consonantes. Consonantes. Excellent. Yes. Consonant. How do you say mayúsculas and how do you say minúsculas? Cuisito. Capital. Mayúsculas? Capital letters. Excellent. Capital letters. Minúsculas? <coughs> lower, lower. Lower case lower letters. letters. Lower case letters. Very lower. good. Lower, lower case letters. Okay. okay. Good job. Now, we were also talking a little bit about uh, phone numbers. Pero se nos escaparon un par de cositas. For example, here on the screen. Creo que se las compartí el grupo de WhatsApp por si no lo logran ver bien de acá. We forgot to mention um, this. We have country code and area code. For example, what is, my question, what is El Salvador's what is country co code? What is El Salvador's country code? Oh, three. Anita? Three. Three. Saque la lengua, saque la Three. Three. No le dé pena. Three. 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 Five. 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 Very good. Five. Oh, three. Okay. Now. We have local phone numbers and international phone numbers. What is a lo how many numbers are in a local phone number? ¿Cuántos números hay un, en un número local? How many number? How many digits or numbers? Eight. 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 Excellent. Eight numbers. How many are in an international? Like in Los Angeles or in Texas or in well, California? Sometimes. Huh? Well, oh, 11. 11. Sometimes. Uh, 11. 7. Seven. Uh, seven. Uh, uh, eight. 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 Más, más el área. Uh -huh. Seven plus. Seven. <laughs> area code. So a ese le llamamos area code. Okay. Yeah. So we have, now, we have an area code is 503. Ok, but the country code es lo que le ponemos a la antes, que en nuestro caso es plus one, right? Para llamadas internacionales. So, plus one, 503, and then the phone number. Yes? Ok. In the United States is, for example, the country code 
they don't have because they only have area codes. Unless they're going to dial internationally, they're going to use 001. Some countries use 001 or just one and so on, okay? Mm -hmm. Also, yesterday, estamos hablando que al cero le podíamos llamar. Oh. Oh, excellent. Very good. Oh, we can oh, have it here. Oh, oh, or zero, oh. right? Oh, y zero. tenemos... A... Oh. 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 Zero. Oh. Zero. And if we sure. and if you see here, if you see here, it's more common to use O. Okay. Oh, it's more. It's more common to use O. Mm -hmm. It's more common, okay, to use O than to use zero. And let me see. And it says here in English we say each number individually. So we say three, six, nine, two five eight four seven so we don't go 36 92 58 47 porque nos podemos confundir o podemos confundir a la persona a la que le estamos llamando diciéndole un número y probablemente sea otro entonces por eso vamos uno por uno okay like our doing number we go one by one um only for money we we can use two or for years por ejemplo estamos en el 2020 entonces podemos decir 2020 or for money oh how much is that oh 99 25 for example so we can use it for money okay for prices or money but then for telephone number emergency telephone numbers driver's license um eh, also for bank accounts transfers wire transfers wire transfers son lo que nosotros llamamos remesas Okay, wire transfers. So you go number by number, okay? Number by number all the time. Now, algo bien importante acá. In the United States, we have cell phone. We call it a cell phone. Para un móvil le llamamos cell phone. But in another country, in Europe, for example, le llaman mobile. Aquí lo tenemos, mobile phone. So United States, cell phone. In another country, in Europe, mobile phone, okay? Quiero ver qué más. Let me see what else, what else, what else, what else. Um, we talked also about emergency telephone numbers, Pizza Hut, also Kentucky Fried Chicken, Bonanza, phone okay. numbers, etc. And let's see, only that, okay? Questions? No? Okay. Let's go to the next one, and this is very important, okay? This is very important. Okay, um, here. Estamos hablando de los titles. In English, we have, for men, we only have one title. Formalmente, en Europa, in Europe, they, they use Mr., okay? No la abreviación. Mr., all the time. Mr., okay? Mr. Um, in the United States, it's not that common. It's more common in maybe in Europe. Sin embargo, nevertheless, any kid in the United States that is over 18 or in the majority of countries in Europe, 21, you have to call them Mr. In El Salvador decimos, hola, Don Pepito, hola, Don Jose, right? But Don and Mr. are similar, but in English no podemos ocupar el title más el primer nombre, the first name. No, we use the title plus the last name. Name always, okay? No, Mr. Juan, Mr. Mateo, no. It's Mr. and the last name, Mr. Okay, Smith. Mr. Mr. Fernandez. Mr. Okay. Mr. Molina. Mr. Molina, very good, okay? Mm -hmm. But not Mr. Jose, okay? But you, pero, si hay una excepción usando el nombre. Si ocupamos el first name y el last name. So I could say Mr. Mateo Fernández. It's Fernández, right, Mr. Mateo? Fernández, yes, Hernández. Hernández, Mr. Mateo Hernández. Mateo Hernández. Okay, so we're using Mr. Mateo and his last name, Hernández. Pero no solo puedo decir Mr. Mateo. Like in Spanish. In español decimos Don Pepito, Don Paco, okay, Don Chiricuto, right? But in English, we cannot do it. We just do it with Mr., the name, or the last name, okay? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 
Ajá. Solo puede ocuparlo solo, Mr. Hi, Mr. Cuando no sabemos, por ejemplo, que es nuevo, hey, Mr. Ok. Or, Mr. El nombre y el apellido, o solo Mr. y el apellido. So, I'm going to write it, I'm going to write it here. Um, let me see. I'm going to write here an example. Hold on, let me Igual chat. es para todos, eh, sea eh, adulto, joven, niño. Entonces, todos los que son menores de 18, no les podemos llamar Mr. Ni Mrs. ni Mrs. Todos los titles son para las personas mayores de 18. Somebody that already has a, a DUI or an ID number, okay? Somebody that ha already has a identification number. Mm -hmm. Only. Solo para las personas que ya tienen como identificación se puede ocupar eso. Puede ocupar así. Mm -hmm. Ay, how do I do this? Um, let me see. I cannot. I'm going to text it here. I'm going to write it on the, on the WhatsApp group because I don't know why my chat is not working here. So um, let me do it here. Okay, so in the WhatsApp group, I'm going to write it. So you can use Mr. by itself. You can use Mr. Mateo Hernandez. Mateo Hernandez. Or you could use Mr. Hernandez. Okay, those are the three ways. Only, but Mr. never just Mr. Mateo, no. Okay. Mr. Fernandez. Mr. Hernandez, Mr. Mateo Hernandez, or just Mr. Mm -hmm. Han visto en las bodas, have you seen the weddings? Y les presentamos a Mr. and Mrs. And they say the name of the man. Because the first one that que ocupan, el first title que ocupan is Mr. So we say, for example, cuando Mateo, ¿cómo se llama su esposa, Mateo? Perdón. Dinora. Dinora. Okay, Dinora. Pero van a decir, Mr. and Mrs. Mat and they would say, Mateo eh, Hernández. No van a ocupar el de la esposa, van a ocupar el primer title que ocuparon con todo el nombre. So they always use that for weddings in the United States, they always do Lo correcto sería Mr. Ok. And Mrs. Y Mrs. In the name of the person. But they usually use the man's title. Mm -hmm. But they use it complete, not short. Ok. So titles go with the complete name or just with the last name. Ok. Ok. okay. Next one. Then we have. Um, oh, aquí está. Um, después tenemos Mrs. Ok. Teacher. Yes. Y, y este eh, que dice que no es posible. Eh, man, man is married eh, o singular. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa eso? Which one? En la parte de, de aquí, de, de, al final de, de, de Mister. It is not possible la... to. Oh, yeah. Yes, very good. Thank you. It says here, it is not possible to know if the man is married or not. O sea, a ese punto, por ejemplo, yo dudé cuando le dije, Mateo, what's your wife's name? Because you don't know, you can call somebody Mr., pero no sabemos el status, marital, ok, marital status. So we don't know if that person is married, que significa casado, o single, uh -huh. que significa soltero. Married, single. Ok. Uh -huh. Married, mm -hmm. okay. married or single. So for Mr., we don't know. Porque como empezamos a llamar a alguien, Mr., a partir de los 18 años, o a partir de que esa persona ya tiene una, una identificación, so that's why we call uh, that person like that, but we don't know, no sabemos si está casado o no, if that person's married. Mm -hmm. Okay, gracias. Okay, you're Thanks. welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> Now, with the next one, Mrs., so we have here. Mrs., Mrs. I wrote Mrs. it down here, Mrs. 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 I, I wrote Mrs. it on the I wrote it on the on the telephone on the te, on the te, on the chat. So for this one, it says here. Usually, it's a woman that is married. Okay. Same thing. Same thing for this one. Um, woman last name. 
married. For example, um, who is married? Deme, demos un ejemplo. Who is married? ¿Quién está casada? Eh, yo. Okay. Give me your name, please. Missy. Um. What's that? Con el D. Con el D. Eh, eh, soy de Santos. Este hola me está fallando. Me está fallando el, el micrófono. Ok. Maybe it has static. Espiguita. Yeah. But. Hoy sí creo que sí. Ok. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Me, me dijo el, el mm -hmm. name yeah. o, o el last name. It would be Marin and the last name too. Uh, de Campos, you said, right? And, uh, soy de Santos. Ah, de Santos. Okay, de so Santos. it'll be Miss Marin. Miss Marin. Okay, Miss Marin. Santos. Now, Miss in Marin. English, no voy a ocupar el de en inglés que es of. Of San, Miss Marin of. of Santos. No. Solo ocupamos el apellido de su cónyuge o de su spouse, okay? Or your, your husband in this case, okay? So, it's just... Miss Marin Santos. Miss not your single. Miss Marin. Santos. Mm -hmm. It's not Miss your Marin single. Santos. Yes. Or you would say Miss Santos. Y solo por el okay. título ya saben que usted es casada. Okay. Yes. Okay. Tengo, tengo una duda. Mm -hmm. en, en el primer ejemplo de Mr. y Miss, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Que Mister es para caballero y Miss es para dama. Sí, Mister siempre va a ser para, para chicos mayores Mister. de 18. Hasta. Ok, it's only for men. Usado su, únicamente for men. Desde los 18, desde que ya tengan un documento. Coach, y cuando yes. utilizo ser, porque yo tuve un coach que cuando uno le decía. Teacher, yes, yes sir. sir. Ajá. Ok, eh. let me explain. Ajá, sir, eso es como una manera polite de llamarle a alguien. En vez de decirle mister, le dicen sir, porque en Europa usan mucho el sir, que es como un título formal que se ocupa para la realeza. Más que todo en la realeza, entonces es como Sería bien propio. Como, como ajá, ajá, como caballero. Very good. Uh -huh. okay. Hi, sir. Y eso pasa cuando no sabemos el apellido o el nombre de la persona, porque no, sir, no lo podemos ocupar, no podemos decir, sir, um, the same way, como un title, no podemos decir, sir Juan, ok, uh -huh. we can't, we have to use sir John's, for example, eh, I don't know if it was Elton John, ok, he became a sir, ok, In, thank you, ok, mm -hmm. you're welcome. So going back to Mrs., it's for married, okay? Dun, 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 dun. That's Mrs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sí. Now, the third one, Miss. Miss. Soltera. Uh -huh. Y acá le llamamos a las enfermeras, to the nurses, y a las señoritas del colegio. Yo voy en el colegio a mis hijos, Miss Silvana, Miss Gaby, Miss. Entonces, ya no dicen señor, y dicen Miss. Entonces, eso se extiende. Igual que en español, en inglés se dice en español, miss. That's the pronunciation. And here, here you can use, here, because it's for a single uh, lady or for a teacher, you could say miss and the name only. This is an exception. So, you could say miss. Siempre con, las, con, con el apellido. Woman and last name. Aquí sería una excepción, porque dependiendo de, de la profesión de, de or the profession of that person. Ajá, si es una teacher o una nurse, sí aplica la excepción. Entonces podríamos decir, Miss um, Gaby. Por ejemplo. Miss Gaby, which is a teacher. Yeah. Estamos la, I'll write it on the group. Miss Gaby is a teacher. Okay. Um, Miss Gaby. And or Miss Ligia is a nurse personas que conozco con esas profesiones por eso les dije it's a nurse ok so okay. you would would say 
Miss Gabby, she's a teacher, or Miss Ligia, she's a nurse. Esas son las únicas dos excepciones, si es for a nurse or a teacher. Now, de lo contrario, aplica la misma, ok? So, it would be Miss, um, quiero ver, Anita, are you married? No. Ok, so, it's Miss. I'm single. Anita, oh, you're single, ok. Miss Anita Hernández. Anita, T-H, vea, Anita. Okay, Miss Anita Hernandez. So it's a TH. Okay, or Miss Hernandez. Okay. And the last one, cuando usualmente en los Estados Unidos o en otros países no preguntan, acá sí lo hacemos. ¿Está casado? O ¿Está casada? O ¿Está soltera? En otros países no lo hacen. Al menos que esa persona se lo diga. Entonces, in these cases, we use miss. Este es bien corto. Miss. 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 Ok. Entonces, en este caso, digamos, Sabrina, are you married? Um, I am not. ¿Mm? I am not. No, you're not married. You're not married. Ok, pero digamos que Sabrina... No quiere decirlo porque es muy personal de ella, ¿ok? She doesn't want to say it. Entonces, y no sabemos y no le queremos preguntar. We don't want to ask her to say, Miss mm, Sabrina. ¿Your last name, Sabrina? ¿Last name? ¿Apellido? Mm -hmm. ¿Last name? Ok, Miss Sabrina Acosta. Ok. So, le ponemos Miss Sabrina Acosta porque no sabemos y no da penita preguntarle. Okay, we don't know, and so we call her Miss Sabrina Costa. Why? Because we don't know if she's single or married. Okay? So we use... Hmm? Aha. Sabrina? Sabrina is single. Porque yo le pregunté. Pero digamos que yo conozco a Sabrina, pero por ejemplo, um, Alex didn't know that Sabrina is single. Ok, o Jessica, o Luis, ok, o Nelson, nadie sabía, o Cordelia, nobody, Daisy, nobody knew that she was single. Entonces, como no sabemos, le queremos mandar una invitación, le ponemos Miss Sabrina. Okay. Ok, very good. Questions? No? No? Questions? Okay. Okay. So, it's time to practice our last. So, and then I'm going to send you to the groups because I want you to practice. It's time to practice really quick. Okay. I'm going to send. I'm going to put you in the break. I'm going to put you to practice really quick. Okay. Hello. Good morning. What Hello. is your name? Okay. Good afternoon, good evening. How are you? How are you? you? Great. How about I am just fine? That's fine. I am okay. Not bad. Uh, not bad. I am going to send it. I'm going to send it to. I'm going to send it right now to the WhatsApp group. So, uh, so you practice uh, in the break rooms, okay? Bye. And ahorita. Okay. You later. Bye. Esto lo va a mandar al grupo, teacher. Sí, ahorita se lo mando porque quiero que practiquen un ratito en el break room antes de que nos vayamos, okay? Before we go. Okay. Ahí se lo mando, ya lo pongo en break room. Hello. Uh -huh. Ahorita los pongo, Pe esperen, 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 esperen. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. In the break, break rooms. 2021. Okay, ready, set, there you go. Okay. Teacher, yes. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre en, para, para la noche, good evening y el good night? Good evening, cuando yo llego al lugar, ya sea a mi casa, a una fiesta, a una recepción. Y good night, ya cuando me despido. 
Ah, okay. Gracias. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, go to the break rooms. Let's see. Are you there? Están los grupitos. Ton, ton, ton. Let me go ahead. I'll see you in a bit, okay? Hello. Hola. Hello. 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 Vamos a empezar ya porque se, se va a acabar el tiempo. Uh, ok, hello. Quiero que practiquen todo lo que han aprendido ahorita. A preguntar, a decir my, a ocupar el verbo be. Ok, everything that you have learned, I want you to practice phone numbers, titles, the verb be, ok, and so on. Ok, pues, enjoy. Hello, Jefferson. Hello. Eh, lo que vamos a hacer es eh, practicar lo de la imagen, ¿verdad? Lo que vimos yeah. ahí, todo el vocabulario. Mm -hmm. Practice everything. The verb be... Eh, the salutations or the greetings. Hi, how are you? My name is. What's your name? Oh. What's your phone number? Oh, Everything. Okay. I like a recap. Un recap de toda la unidad uno. Okay. Practice. Or conversation. Or witty witty. Yes, conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. Uh, my, my name is Mateo. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. And you? Um, what nice. is your full name? Nice to meet you. Full name is completo. Uh, Hernandez. Okay. Uh, you, Jessica. Uh, your full name. Uh, my name is Jessica Guardado. Hello. Uh, which... mm, Hola. No me sirve el micrófono. Ah, no se le escucha, no. Porque hay el problema. But I can listen to you. I can listen to you. Yes. I can listen to you, Jess. Hello. Yes, I can listen to you, Jesse. What's your name? Three. Eight. Uh, 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 Hola, sí te escucho, sí te escuchan, ¿Ah? yo sí te escucho. Es que estoy conectada con mi celular porque mi de la compu no me permite hablar y con, ah, okay. el, con el celular no, 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 no entendía. Porque creo que estoy en dos grupos ahorita, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, ok. Let me, ¿En dónde estás? Porque estoy con Mateo y con Jefferson, pero no, ellos no me escuchan. Mm. 
can you uh, spell me your name? M A T E O. Let me change. Okay, wait. Lo que voy a hacer mañana es conectarme solo con el celular, tal vez así, porque si usted me escucha, entonces así sí podré participar. Mm -hmm. I listen to you. Yes, I can listen to you. Bueno. Let me go to another group. Check this one. Z or A. Yo Hola. 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 El, el que dice Miss y todo eso, ¿cómo se pronuncian? No había venido a, no había venido a eso yo. Miss. Ajá. Mister. Está bueno que se lo se pronuncia Miss. Así que escribe así, y el otro que es mi personceta, solo el mi. El que es M, no, perdón, en inglés, vea, <ríe> M-R-S. M, 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 R, S is Mrs. Mrs. M, R, S. Check your WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, I wrote the information. Mrs. Okay, teacher. Uh, the other one, el de, mi, el de las dos S, es Miss. Ah, okay, Miss. Y el último, oh. Miss. Okay. El primero es Mr. Sabemos si es soltera o casada. Casada. Mister. Miss, Miss con Z. Miss, Miss. Hello, Alma. Hello, how are you? Bye, oh. thank you. Great. Nice. Hello, everybody. Bye, thank you. Guys, wow, it's almost 9 p.m. <gasps> Time flies. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Hey, but guess what? We finished unit one. So feel, feel happy because you have learned a lot in four days or three days. Three days. Three days. Three days. Three days. I'm, I'm yeah. putting an extra day. Three, three days. <laughs> yes. A vocabulary, pronunciation, like three, oh, zero. My name is. Okay, Isa, Isa, remember? Okay, so continue practicing. There's always a playlist que pueden volver a ver. La playlist, ahí van grabados todos los videos de las clases por si se perdieron alguna o una porción de ellas. I will see you tomorrow again, connected. Okay, if you have questions, I will share more material. But if you have questions, ask me, okay? Um, okay. Oh, Yes. ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos para contestar la plataforma? Yo por mi trabajo no he contestado prácticamente nada. Entonces, mm -hmm. lo podemos hacer el fin de semana. Y ah, claro. Semana. Sí, claro que sí. Podemos día, creo yo. Sí, la verdad es que lo ideal, sí, claro, tienen tiempo para hacerlo ahorita. Lo ideal es 
Lo ideal es que no pierdan el ánimo y que no lo dejen de hacer. Yo sé que pues el trabajo y el día a día, pero quiero que no, no, que no dejen de hacer la plataforma para que aprendan muchísimo eh, del idioma y que estén en contacto y que el fin de semana no vaya a ser un gap de no practicar, que practiquen, ¿ok? I'm going to send you more exercises for you to practice, ¿ok? Okay. 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 okay, guys, thank okay. you very Good much. Good, Good night. Good morning. Blessings. Blessings. Bye. Bye. Good morning. 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 Good morning.